are officially starting our national parks, right? Yes, and I'm so excited. Wow. It's like 35 degrees, it feels great. So we're just doing the shorter loop here. It's gonna come around and then back. So it should be about 1.8 to two miles. We do have a trail guide for 50 cents. I just realized there's numbered sections along this trail and this part is talking about the tree and how people utilize the resources that were around so they use these trees for seeds and sturdy wood so we're at number 12 and what the paper is saying is when there's a lot of water this area right here becomes a waterfall and it fills this area up with water. All right, this spot has to do with a natural bridge that's forming down here. It's a smaller version of the Hickman Bridge. So this is the top of that small bridge that's forming. All right, we can see the Hickman Bridge from here. If you look on that rock, the vertical striations just to the right and down that is Hickman Bridge. This is the Hickman Bridge. It was named after Joseph Hickman. And he and his friend, they worked in the 1920s to establish a park, which was then called Wayne Wonderland. And it's now named Capitol Reef. It's 133 feet across and 125 feet tall. How is it so far, buddy? It's a great hike. Uh, it's going to be 1.8 all the way to back to the beginning. And this bridge is just fantastic. There was a smaller bridge we passed on the way in, and that's how it all starts. A small bridge turns into something like that because of the water. We gotta get to the visitor center, we gotta get our pies. Yeah, we need those pies. Yeah, so you just gotta be a little careful on this trail. The rocks can be slick and it's not real even. Look how beautiful. Look at that view. That's part of the loop. We're back to our side and back on the part of the trail that we already walked in on. So we are heading out. It's like a little slot canyon. Are you gonna have to lean into the rock? Yeah, our first slot canyon in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I got my backpack on. We're about back at the car. All right, we stopped for some petroglyphs on the walk wall up here. And these up here are easy to see. Because they got a bunch of little rams. Uh, to deer and rams to the left. There's some more up here. Oh, I do see them. There it is. Now I got it. Just made a quick stop at the one room schoolhouse here at the Capitol Reef National Park. Lesson, huh? There's a church and a school. That's the way they always were. Yeah, yeah it was the only public structure and it was built in 1896. We have to make this stop. This is the Gifford House Museum and they have the homemade pies in here. Fresh baked. Look at this cute little bag. Look at that. Mixed berry <laughs> and uh, warm. And delicious. <laughs> I've already had a bite. <laughs>
on the Pioneer Register Trail. It's near the Golden Throne Trail. Look at the sand, the sand is gold. <laughs> We turned around at the Pioneer Register. If you continue on down the trail, you'll eventually get to some tanks, which are just uh, pockets of water in the rock. Oh, we're gonna use our time on another trail that goes to an arch, and that'll be probably 3.4 mile hike. So we'll uh, head back to the car. This is what happens when you go later in the day. Yep. The parking is premium. This will be our long hike of the day, 3.4 miles. We're going to go up to Cassidy Arch and back. So 1.7 up and 1.7 back. We'll see how it goes. Peekaboo. Hi, Cassidy Arch. <laughs> We're going to climb 5,400 to 6,350. up here. See it? There. there it is. <coughs> we seem closer, but it's a half mile still. She tortured me. <laughs> All right, Ingrid's gonna hang back. We're going to try and get across there. Just follow the cars. Okay. What they don't have yet is an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really shot from up top. Can't tell it, but we're standing on top of the arch. And it was quite a hike up. It's about what, a thousand feet elevation change. And it's something, it's a beautiful thing. Y'all should do it. On the top of the Cassidy Arch, and that's everybody on the other side. What do you think of the trail? It was nice. I was a little disappointed that I couldn't go to Cassidy's Arches. But I, it's a good thing I probably did stop. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, your knee started acting up. Yeah. So uh, we're going to have to watch her knee, probably get her in a brace, and uh, maybe hold off on any long efforts. So we'll see. I loved it. How about you, Ingrid? It was a little bit narrow and 
I'll pass for that swim. I like it warm. <laughs> we are heading out of Capitol Reef National Park and I just wanted to get opinions on what everyone thought about the park. I thought it was amazing. The, the views were totally awesome. Just, just seeing something new that I've never done before. So this is like my sister said it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Definitely. And we, we pushed your limits yesterday. Yes. How about Pollyanna? So, lots of highlights. I loved um, the bridge. I loved uh, the hiking through the gorge with the uh, Pioneer Registers. I loved Cassidy Arch. It was a great day yesterday. All right. How about Vito? Well, I'll say that Capitol Reef is one of the underrated national parks. You don't hear a lot about it. People don't visit it as much as the other four national parks in Utah. Uh, I like the Capitol Reef Gorge. I thought the rock formations through that gorge were pretty stunning. And if you're in Torrey, Utah, you got to go to Etta's place. Etta used to hang around with Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. So we've had a wonderful time in the park. I too loved uh, Cassidy Arch. Just I love getting up high and being able to see far. So we've had a great time at Capitol Reef and now we are heading to Arches.